What's up, gaming nerds? Welcome back to Midnight Gaming with Mystic Nightmare. Thanks for coming to the channel and hanging out with me tonight. Hope you guys are having a fantastic night. It is midnight, and we are back on Astroneer. And as you can see, the area we're in looks a little bit different, and that's my fault. Basically, I screwed up. I had some extra resin on me, and I clicked a couple of these on accident, and I ended up making... Uh, a couple of, of platforms and I didn't mean to do that so I screwed up our base and the way I wanted to build it so I basically had to restart a whole bunch of times to get us to a place that looks semi close to what we had before um, I don't think in the last episode I had this platform this platform or this platform in basically all I did was I just had a couple of resin on me and so I went ahead and made these platforms to get us a little bit further we're pretty much at the exact same spot we were at before but I, I basically had to restart because I screwed up the centerpieces of what I wanted to do uh, when it comes down to these smaller platforms because I wanted to put power over there so yeah I decided to go ahead and start over um, I also found, I did, a like in the last episode, I did a couple of researchers, researches, and I didn't find the same things that we found before. I actually found a fuel condenser. So I'm making these two a fuel condenser. Actually, I'll probably just make this one a fuel condenser. And then when we're able to find a trading platform, I'll make this one a trading platform right here. Um... Either that or I'll make these two a fuel condenser and this one a trading platform. And you'll see a little bit in a little while, probably not this episode, maybe the next one. When you get a couple of fuel condensers and you get a trading platform on, you're basically set. You don't have to go out and harvest really anymore. All you can do is sit there and make, make fuel and then trade the fuel for whatever you want. But the biggest thing I think we need to do right now is we need to make, we need to get some copper to make a printer. Printers are important because we can make the large solar panels and we can also make the wind, the wind turbines. Um, and then we can also, we also need some, some, aluminum aluminium to uh to make a vehicle bay because the vehicle bays are nice because you can set a vehicle at the start of a uh, of a cave and use that vehicle to tether in and get your oxygen and stuff so what i found is i've done a little bit of running around and i found a cave over here i've made a whole bunch of tethers and i figured you know what let's just go ahead and go caving because we really need copper and we really need aluminum plain and simple um, that's what we need to do. That's really important for us right now. And uh, just for basically furthering our base. Because once we get the printer up and we can get the vehicle bay up, I mean, the, the sky's the limit when it comes down to how far we can travel and whatnot. Uh, so, yeah, let's go ahead and tether in here. And we'll just... I don't know how far I'm going to go into the cave. You guys are probably thinking, dude, you're using way too many tethers. I don't think I am because I don't like getting into a cave and then finding out my tethers are broke for some reason somewhere in the cave. And, uh, okay, that looks like that's resin right there. So we don't need any resin. We've pretty much got our base built. Um, so I'm hoping, I'm really hoping we can find... And this is nice having this this cave so close to our base. Uh, uh, okay, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to build this up just a little bit so we can make a little trail down. Whoops. I can't really see very well when it comes down to building this stuff. So let's, yeah, let's go ahead and build that up. We'll build this down a little bit. It's a little bit steep, and that should work for us to get down. And then we'll go ahead and put a tether down here to show us kind of a way. The nice thing about the tethers is they give light. And that's what I really like. Okay, so what do we got over here? Uh, okay, that's hydrazine. We don't need hydrazine yet. But if we wanted to, we could dig down into here and we could get one of these unknown elements. And pull this bad boy out. And we'll set it over here by our oxygen thing and then we can just grab that whenever what's over here ah, that, okay so there's our aluminum excellent this is definitely what we need uh, and this will actually get us the vehicle bay we also need to make some um, what are they called the 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 and I've gone completely blank uh, the battery tethers tank generator beacon wind vanes we need to make a wind vane for the main part of our base uh, I don't want to make too many wind vanes just because the small ones are okay for like vehicles and you know the main base but when it comes down to like actually putting them on nodes we definitely definitely want to make the bigger veins and it's just a waste of materials if we don't 
in my opinion, you know, everybody's different when it comes down to their play style. So uh, I probably, I don't think, I hope I got everything in here. I think I probably, oh, there's some more. Now we need to find copper, and copper is probably the biggest because we need that copper for the printer. But we need a whole bunch of aluminum because uh, aluminum takes, well, I think there's power up here too. Uh, aluminum, we need the aluminum for uh, for the vehicle bay, but most importantly we need it for the weather vanes as well. So definitely need that for some nighttime power. And then oh, I think we need to also get a generator. But we don't want the big ones because the big ones take coal, and coal is really hard to find. Usually you can only find it on other planets. So we need copper for a generator as well. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and grab this power here, and I'm going to fill up this I'm gonna yeah I think we've got oh okay so I'm gonna go ahead and fill up this hole just so we don't fall in it because knowing me I'm gonna freaking fall in it and then I'm not gonna be able to get out and I'm not gonna be able to get back to our tether so let me go ahead and fill this in real quick okay so that's filled in and I'm thinking let's do this let's grab some of this oxygen here we can always dump it if we don't need it all, if we need some of the space. So let's go ahead and do this, and let's go down here real quick and see what this is. I think this is aluminum too. Yeah, that's aluminum as well. We don't, uh, let's look at our backpack real quick. So we've got one, two, three aluminum. Actually, we probably should get four aluminum. Um, okay, so we've got four. Now, oh, there's more hydrazine. We don't need hydrazine. We need copper. Uh... I'm trying not to get lost here. <laughs> okay, so we took a right-hand turn. Is this copper? See, the, the hard part about this game, for me, is the... Okay, so there's our copper. There's our copper. Excellent. So let's go ahead and pull this copper. We got plenty of oxygen for right now. Uh, and we're probably going to need about four copper, so I think I'm going to end up having to drop our um, the rest of our oxygen. Okay, can you give me that copper, please? Thank you. And we're running out of battery power. Crap. There's some battery, or there's some battery power right there. Good. What are these over here? Are these? Okay, so we got aluminum and fuel. Looks like we got a plenty of fuel if we ever decide to take off, but we're not really going to need. I, in my opinion, there's no reason to really get anything when it comes down to fuel for your ship or anything, as long as you can pick up a, 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 a what are they called? The research pods and you can get a trading thing once you get that trading thing you can you know or you get the review the reserve fuel tank why can i not grab that there we go okay so big hole we just made excellent happy birthday to us and we how much um we've got this is copper one two oh we only got two uh i kind of need we kind of oh we dropped one that's why why am I hearing funky noises? I'm hearing a really weird noise. Um, can we put... Can we do this? No, stop. Stop doing that. Just give me... Let me go over. Let me hide one of our material inside one of these. Oh, we can't do that because... Oh shoot, we're suffocating. Oh no, we're suffocating. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Oh no, 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 no. Oh my god, we died. I'm such an idiot, I wasn't even watching the oxygen. Damn it. Okay, I'm going to get back down there and I'm going to get our stuff and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I went down, I got our other stuff back and I was able, because we dropped that oxygen, I was able to get uh, one, two, three. We got three copper, one, two, three, four. We got four aluminum. And we're happy-go-lucky on that stuff. Um, I, we, I really want to get one more copper, guys. I just, I don't... Oh, no, no, we're not going to mess with those guys right now. I just want one more copper. That's all we need. And then... Is this hydrazine, too? Crap, it is. You know what? Screw it. To heck with it. Let's go back up. We're going to go back up to the base. We're going to grab our little dilly mabobber here. Now, I see a lot of people have a hard time with these, these carrying these back. If you put it off to your right side, you're going to walk slowly. If you put it off to your left side, you're going to walk slowly. If you put it straight ahead of you, your guy, for some reason, runs 
I mean, it's not. It's, he's still a little bit slow, but he runs faster than if you put it off the side for some weird reason. I'm not sure why that is, but yeah, it just just a little tip if you guys are annoyed by when you're trying to walk like this and you're like, dude, this is going to take forever. Just put him in front of you. Just put the little guy in front of you. There you go. Okay, and as you can see, I cleaned up all the way around this. This is actually, it was a really dense area, but for some reason I can't get this bloody plant to disappear. I can't get it to disappear. I can't get it to get out of the base. It's just sitting in the middle of the base. I'm trying to mess with it. I don't know. If you guys have any ideas, you've played the game before and you've got any ideas on how to fix that and see if we can get that damn plant out of the way and off of our base, that would be great. Let's, let's hope it's a trading it's a trading platform. Please. Trade platform. Hell yes. We got a trade platform. We got the money coming in now, baby. Oh, we just won the game. We might as well just quit now. I'm just kidding. We're not quitting because this game is too damn much fun to play. All right. So let's pull uh, Q. Okay. So we're going to hit this, two, three of those, and then we'll grab one of those. Go ahead and power that smelter on. And then we'll go ahead and pop in. Whoops. Go ahead and pop in those. Oh, we don't have any power coming in, do we? Damn it. Okay. Uh, so copper. Did we just do the copper? Yeah. One. We have two copper. Yeah, we got two copper. Okay. So printer. Copper. Print. Awesome. Excellent. Now we need power to that bad boy. The sun's coming up. Here comes the sun. Do 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 do. Here comes the sun. Okay, so with uh, what do we need for for a wind vane? We can do aluminum, um, aluminium, and I think we've got is that copper? Yeah, that's copper. Crap. We could do one small wind vane. Let's do that. Uh, what is this? Aluminum. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Okay, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna make a wind vane. Let's see if we can get some extra power stuff going on here because that's really annoying when you're sitting there waiting for power. One, because you're sitting there waiting for power. And two, because when you're trying to do a video, oh, we don't have any freaking... Now, here's something about the wind, the wind vanes. You can try different spots on your base and you can actually get them to power up when you try... See? See how it's spinning now? So if you move your wind vanes around in your base you can eventually find a little wind pocket and you can get it to start powering stuff up and the cool thing about it is it actually started powering up when we were over here by uh, the smelter and that's what we definitely need because we need that smelter to really be um, to be powered up can we take can we help out the power and go like this yeah can we do it like this and get it going even faster Hell yes, we can. And then once, okay, so once we get this 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 aluminum, yeah, we're gonna make a vehicle bay. And once we make the vehicle bay, oh yeah. Actually, you know what? I'm wondering if maybe let's look at. You also have to be careful about this. If you fill these slots up and you you go and you you smelt a bunch of stuff. You can lose that other stuff. I've I've lost it before, and it really made me la made me mad because it was some pretty good rare items. Um, looks like all we've got right now is just a regular solar power. So anyway, um, let's let's power this bad boy on real quick here because I would like to make a solar generator, uh, a big one. Uh, a solar panel that's what it's called solar generator what was I thinking um, so aluminum let's see aluminum one two aluminum cool okay so we can take that extra aluminum and put it down there so let's make a big solar panel uh, compound okay so click here click here and we have got a solar power we'll put the solar power back here on this on this little doohad dicky dickily with di do hickey that's what I was trying to say <laughs> and I ended up swearing oh wait no you're supposed to connect homie connect there you go all right we got power coming out the yin yang now so now we don't have to worry about this anymore that's so nice that all you got to do is just shift click and it goes right to where you want it to go okay so next thing we want to do is let's see we could we oh crap aluminum 
copper. Okay, so for this is going to be the trade platform. What do we need for the trade platform? Two aluminum and we need two copper. So two aluminum, two copper, and all we've got now is we've got aluminum, aluminum. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. How many? Oh, we got three aluminum. Okay, so we don't want another wind vane. So I need, we need really one, we need one more copper really bad, guys. Um, let's, you know what? To hell with the vehicle bay right now. We'll go ahead and toss these in here. Um, and let's go ahead and make the trade platform. Now, the trade platform is really, 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 really kind of overpowered. I'll be honest with you guys. Basically, all it is is you can take like, something anything and you can put it in there and then you can see how much yield it's going to bring whenever you want something we want copper however we, we we don't want smelted copper we want uh i think laterite yeah ma uh, malachite that's i believe that's copper um so if we can we trade this? How much will it yield? It'll only yield one copper. So, oh, trading aluminum for that is kind of a stupid idea. I wonder if we can get enough compound to actually trade over. Uh, oh, see our wind vanes going up here. We got this solar power. We got this solar power power in it. Oh, we're good on the power for quite a while. The only thing we need to do is we need to make a couple of small jennies. Not the big jennies the printer makes because that takes coal. And that sucks. Um, so let's... Coal is really hard to find. Oh, crap. Now we've got an incoming storm. This sucks. Alright, guys. I'm going to get in here. I'm going to save... And when the storm's over, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, welcome back. Uh, the storm is over. It's morning. And I went down back into the cave. I got us a little bit more aluminum. Aluminium. And I also got us the hydrazine that was down there. Now, like I was telling you guys before, you don't need to harvest it. But when you got a trade platform, oh, yeah, the harvesting of the, of the hydrazine is fantastic. Because you can just click... Whoops, that pulled my copper. Sometimes you can click and it'll just, if you only have hydrazine in the back of your backpack, then it'll get you the hydrazine. It'll pull the hydrazine out. Hi <laughs> Sorry, it'll pull the hydrazine out. Okay, so hydrazine. As. Okay, so malachite. We need copper, right? So here's the malachite. We can get four freaking copper from that. I figure we might as well just get two, and we're going to send off our trade platform. It'll come back with two copper, which will smelt down, um, or malachite that will smelt down. I never did make... Okay, so let's do this first. Let's come over here and make, make the vehicle bay real quick here. Oh, i got to smelt down the other aluminum. I really wish I could get the plant out of our damn base. If any of you guys... Ooh, excuse me. Hiccup. Again. Wow. If any of you guys know how to get that stinking plant out, let me know. Make sure to leave it in the comments. I tried digging a hole under the top of it to see if I could get it just to kind of, you know, fall over. But that didn't work very well. Um, so I had to bury the hole again. Okay, so aluminum. Now we can either make a weather vane or we can make a vehicle bay. Uh, the power at night seems to be okay for now. As you can see, our little our trade platform is back. We've got our two copper... Oh, backpack full. Fine. Be that way. And this is why I put all this stuff really close together, guys. Because you don't have to run very far. Let's go ahead and throw that power in there. And that if you just throw your power in there, that'll power that up. That's awesome. I love that idea. Um, okay, so I need to grab this and put that over there. We'll go ahead and smelt down that. Uh, I think that's it. I'm going to pull this out and put it right there. And so we got our copper. Let's see. We got copper. Oh, weather vane or, you know what? We're going to do the vehicle bay. The vehicle bay is nice because, like I said, if you make a rover or something, then you can just go ahead and, and, whoops. You can just go ahead and, uh, 
and and park the vehicle right at the, the the mouth of a cave, or you can just drive around anywhere you want. Oh, look at that! See, it lifted the whole plant up. That's going to be annoying. One of these times, I hope that just glitches out and just flips out and just goes somewhere besides our base. That's going to drive me nuts. Like I said, I, I made a hole underneath the the head of that, and I just can't get it to to move to get out of there. Maybe I'll hit it with a vehicle or something and see if I can get it out of there. Okay, so we have anything else to smelt? No, we have copper. Thank goodness. Once this is done right here, guys, we're in the money. Plain and simple. Fuel condenser. Hell yes. This is how to make your base overpowered. This is basically how to never have to harvest again. Uh, the fuel condensers use power to make hydrazine. You use the hydrazine, hydra, the, 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 the hydrazine to sell on the trade platform and you can buy anything you want. Now sometimes like coal, and I made a mistake in the last episode saying the hydrazine was the most expensive. It is not. Coal is. Uh, then you've got lithium um, and titanium. They're very expensive as well. So you could sell them on here, but why do that when you can get free hydrazine from just using power and then selling the the, the, the hydrazine on the, the trade platform and and getting anything you want you can you can get anything as long as you have enough hydrazine it's very easy to do um, do we what other materials do we have we only have one copper oh let's do this then we wanted to make another do we have any more aluminum okay we have one more aluminium let's go ahead and take we need some more uh, what is it called uh, aluminum, but I think it's laterite. You want to buy this stuff. You don't want to buy the actual aluminum. You want to buy the laterite and smelt it down yourself because it's cheaper and you get a bigger yield. So we're going to go ahead and sell those last two hydrazine we've got, and then we're going to go ahead and make a weather vane. Uh, it's going to be super, super, super freaking nice to have a weather vane. Um, and then I think what we're going to do is we need a generator and we got another copper so let's just make a regular generator now you guys are probably thinking wait a minute mystic what are you thinking because there's generators in here right but these generators use coal and coal is bloody freaking expensive as hell um, and you can you can't find it on this planet I don't think unless you go really deep maybe it's down there I don't need to see any reason to go deep because we've basically got our you know we're in the money now with this this uh, this fuel fuel condenser so I'm what I like to do is I like to come back here and I'm, I'm gonna try and make two of these generators I'll make another one later on but I'm gonna put this generator back here and if we run out of wind and solar power at night all we have to do is come over here suck up these plants that's all over around our base take that and throw that on there boom and now we've got some power coming in just like that see oh look hydrazine we just made a little bit of money or I shouldn't say money but we made something to trade with very easily by just clicking that button and using the power um, and see how see how nice that is the condense the organic generator just using plants man that's so awesome okay so let's let's go ahead and we're gonna smelt this down and we're gonna make we're gonna make our vehicle bay now. Or no, we're gonna make our wind. We already did the vehicle bay. We're gonna make this our wind vane. Oh look, our power's up again. More money, more something to trade, I should say. Excellent. Look at that. See, it's just super overpowered. This trade platform, along with the fuel, the hydrazine fuel condenser, it's just power. Just it's it's just overpowered from hell. And it's it's just really the way if you really want to get going fast on your base, that's the way to do it. So now we see see how it wasn't spinning there, but it spins over here. If I put it like maybe right here, no, right here, no, it was spinning up here, right? It was spinning over there. Yeah, see now it'll spin over there, and it's giving us power. It's really weird. So I'm just gonna throw that one back over there. It looks like we got another storm coming in. That sucks. However. From what I can see, that's pretty much it. Uh, we're kind of out of time. Let me get inside and talk to you guys real quick. Um, so yeah, I we got a pretty stinking good um, response from the first video on this. Uh, hopefully you guys like this video. Uh, 
but as I was saying, just you know, a fuel can once you got the fuel condenser and the trade platform, you're in the money. You just you never have to go out and harvest anything ever again, and that's a little bit overpowered in my opinion. Um, but still, it's nice because if you need to come back and grab something real quick, you need to come back and, and, and make something like for your ship or whatever, uh, make a bunch of hydrazine for your ship, then you can do that. It's, it's, it's awesome. You can really do that um, quickly. You don't have to dork around. See, I'm making stuff to trade right now. It's no big deal. Uh, I think in the next episode, we're probably going to be making a whole bunch of storage so we can put it on the, the fuel condensers and then also put it on the, uh, the printer as well as the smelter um, and possibly maybe a little bit more for the vehicle bay. I'll basically just I'm gonna go out I'm either gonna trade for a whole bunch of compound or uh, I'm gonna go out and find a bunch of compound and uh, yeah that's I mean look at their power now now that we've got the wind turbine now that we got that solar generator now that we've got this little generator our power is just like going nuts and we've, we're making freaking hydrazine like no other it's crazy uh, is there anything else I can do uh, I got one more aluminum we'll put that aluminum down there um, we need one more copper to make another generator because I wanted to put two little organic generators there and then I think in the next episode if we can we'll try and make a battery for over there and possibly if we have time we'll go ahead and make a rover or something uh, if you like the video hit the like button if you didn't like it don't hit it just make sure no matter what you do subscribe you'd be very smart to subscribe if you haven't already if you've already subscribed tell everybody about the channel you possibly can uh, thanks for coming out and hanging out with me today guys keep gaming keep doing it at midnight have a blast we will see you guys in the next episode take care and have a good one